Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial with Learn at No Star. Today we are going to talk about conditional joins, which means that based on certain condition, we need to join either on table A or on table B. In particular, we are going to take an example of a conditional join based on certain column values. So let's get started. So I'm going to take a very simple example. I've created a table called employee. The employee table has three columns, employee ID, department ID, and is external. The is external column is kind of a flag column. I have got two department tables, department table and department external table. So I'm assuming here that there is some external data coming in and they have their own list of departments. So now we have got two department tables for which we are going to perform the lookup. Now this lookup is going to be based on the value of the column is external so whenever the value of the flag is external is marked as x i'm going to do a lookup with the department external table otherwise i need to perform that lookup or join only with the department table so here is my condition my condition is based on the value of the column is external whenever it is set to x perform or take the value of department name from the department external table. Otherwise, we are going to fetch the department name from the department table. So the first approach is to perform a left join with each of the two tables or the subset of data which is based on the condition of the filter value being set to x. And then we are going to fetch the corresponding matching value for the department name. So let's see how this can be implemented. So in the first step, we just need to select the employee ID and department ID from the employee table. So we can select the columns that we need from the employee table. And then the next step would be to select the department name. Now to select the department name let's first perform a join so from employee table let's give it an alias of e and the first left join for the employee table is going to be with the department table i'm just going to call it d and a condition is going to be on e dot department id is equal to d dot department id and the flag condition so the flag condition here was supposed to be is external value is not equal to x so only those subset of records will be matched here the next left join i'm going to perform on the department external table so department external i'm just going to call it de and the condition is going to be the same as above e dot department id is equal to de dot department id and now the flag condition is going to be is external is equal to x. Now I have two joins on these two tables. The only remaining task is to fetch the department name. Now to fetch the department name, I'm going to use a function called coelease. Coelease is a function that is going to give you the first not null values from the arguments which are passed to the coelease function. So I'm just going to write the function and the first argument that I'm going to pass to it is going to be from the department table the department name from the department table and the second argument that I'm going to pass is from the department external table again the department name from the department external table so this is going to be my query now what it is going to do is basically it is going to fetch the department name from the department table which will be set to a particular value if this condition that is is external not equal to x that is the flag is not set then it will have some value if the record does not satisfy this condition and the, uh, the flag value is set to x for that record then the value returned from the first left join is going to be null and there would be certain value returned from the next left join that we have written over here so that value will be chosen so when the first value is going to be null over here then the coalesce function is going to pick up the first not null value so it is going to pick up the de dot department name value so this is how it is going to perform so this is uh, going to be an ambiguous column if we do not include the alias over here so i'm just quickly going to include the alias of employee table uh, for this so now if i'm just going to execute this query i should be getting my results so to verify these results let's go back to the original data that we had this is our original data we can see that there are two employees employee id 2 and 3 who have the same department id 1 and 1 here 
but the flag is set for one of the employees employee id 3 which means that for employee id 3 we need to fetch the department name from the department external table which means we need to go down here and fetch software as a department name whereas for employee id 2 we can fetch it from the department table which is going to be sales so when we look at our final data we should be say uh, we should be seeing the department sales for employee id 2 and department software for employee id 3 so let's go back to the output and verify this so for employee id 2 the department id is 1 but the department name is called sales for the employee id 3 again the department id is 1 but the department name has been fetched from the department external table and as software so this is one very simple approach which you can use you just perform a left join with both the tables based on the whatever condition you have and obviously where the condition is not satisfied then the output would be a null from that particular join so you can use the coilies function then to choose the not null value so the next approach is going to be even simpler we are simply going to use the union or union all command or operator to combine the result sets for the records for which the flag is set and the records for which the flag is not set so what we're going to do is simply fetch the columns that we want so employee id and let's just take department name here from our tables employee and it will again be a left join on the department table and this will be on uh, let's say employee dot department id is equal to department dot department id and here we are simply going to use a where clause to say that the flag is external is not equal to x and then we are going to use the union all to combine the results of this query with the query that we are going to write for the records for which the flag is set to x so when the flag is set to x the only difference is that we need to have the join with the department external table and that's what we are going to change in this query so both these queries are going to give the results correctly and we are going to just combine the results from these two queries and we should be obtaining the same results as we obtained with our earlier query so going to execute this you can see that for employee id 3 since it is a union it is not ordered by the employee id we can order the whole result set by the employee id to see it in the same way but if you remember then for employee id 2 and for employee id 3 we had the same department id of 1 so here also in our output for employee id 2 the department name is sales which is fetched from the department table and for employee id 3 the department name is software which is fetched from the department external table so these are two very simple approaches which you can use to perform conditional joins based on some column value uh, there can be other scenarios for conditional joins as well maybe it's not a column value maybe the values are present in both the tables and you need to um, just select based on some priority so but a similar approach can be used for most of the queries which are based on conditional joins i hope that this video was useful if this was useful to you then please do not forget to subscribe to your youtube channel thanks a lot for watching goodbye